the new governor of Oshun State, Ademola Adeleke, has decided to take some drastic, very serious steps. He has dethroned others in Oshun State. He dealt with the first class others and the second class others. He said that these others were not chosen by the Ifa Oracle, which is a traditional practice. He said Oyetola, the former governor, is the one who chose them and that he cannot work with them. Not only that, he nullified the appointment of 30 permanent secretaries and 12,000 workers are going to lose their job. I repeat again, 12,000 workers are going to lose their job. He said he does not know about them and that he will have to review. In fact, he said the appointment of certain individuals in government, in Oyetola's government, is riddled with corruption, with uh, a lot, a lot. He said he's going to nullify all of this people appointees he said many of them um they, they, they have been accused of um the reduction of duty financial misappropriation absenteeism meaning they don't come to work and also abuse of office these are all that he has presented now how is this going to be? How is Ocean State going to thrive with this new step? Not just that alone. He talked about the change. In fact, not even talking alone. He decided to take action on Ocean State's state logo, anthem, and emblem. He said he's going to reverse the appellation, which is State of the Living Spring. He said he's going to take it off from state of virtues. He said it's going to be state of the living spring. That is what Ocean State is going to be. Well, there might be some, you know, very good, you know, reasons for this. Um, but is this the right time? That is what a lot of people are worried about. So, who are these kings that will be kicked away? He is moving in full force. And some are saying those people who did not support him, people that he perceived as enemies, people, voices of dissent, people who are just not in support of his governorship dream, ambition. He said all of those people are being dealt with. On your FIFA, are you in support of Ademola Adeleke? Oluwo of Iwo, are you in support of Ademola Adeleke? And many more. All of these people are going to be kicked out. That is what it is. Right now, he is dealing with Akiru of Ikiru, Oba Yinusa Akadiri, Are of Ire, Oba Ademola Olukonle. And that one is the immediate past chairman of the All Progressive Congress in the state. That tells you that there is a lot um, involved in this. And Owa of Igbajo. Obagbega Famodu, while Akiru and Owa are first class, the Ire monarch is second class. Can you see? Um, we have paramount rulers, we have first class king, and we have the second, third, and like that. He's dealing with them, and they are starting with this. In fact, right now, he said that they should all vacate the palace. He has given a marching order to security operatives to take over. Their palaces, anyone found there will be arrested and will be locked up. This is the power of a governor. This is called executive order. And this executive order, it says, cover chieftaincy matters, appointment issues, setting up of review panel, staff audit, and employment matters. He said he's not going to joke with any of these others who got in there via some governor is not doing that anymore now 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 this one is a big shocker to a lot of people they are like ah what is going on in ocean state ocean state is going to be turned upside down or is there something great good that is about to happen you know the popular slogan of this dancing senator is omitutu new water 
new light? Is he kicking off these people to put in his own people? You know, this is how these things work. Once you become governor, don't worry. I'm going to make you king. We are going to kick this one out. I'm going to support you to become governor of the state. But I need that chieftaincy title. I need that Albert title. I need that position. And all he has to do is just get in there, sack all of these Albers, first class, second class, third class, and put in his own people there. That's what it is. And that's what's happening right now. So people are worried. Is this new governor, Ademola Deleke, coming in to fight? Or he just simply wants to take away people that he knows might disturb his um, time as governor of the state? Don't forget that he has four years to run. And afterwards, there will be a review election. And most of the times um, when you are an incumbent governor, you will do all. You will make sure you secure everything in place to make sure that you remain there. He didn't just, just do that alone. He made sure that he dealt with any other enemy, anybody that he knows that could dethrone him himself. What did he do? He went into the members of the Ocean State Independent Electoral Commission, OSIEC, and he dealt with them. He suspended the chairman and members. These are the people that will uh, that, that can gang up against him. He's making sure that he cuts off any perceived enemy. Anyone who has power is putting his own people there. This is the kind of politics that we have in Nigeria. And of course, everybody wants to watch his own back to make sure that nothing happens. But people are worried right now. What is going to become of these kings? Is Governor Ademola Adeleke fighting corruption? What is he doing, actually? Is he trying to push out people that will destroy or disrupt his government? Or is this a personal vendetta? I'm going to fight. These people did not support me. They are carcass of Oyetola. Anything that surrounds Oyetola is making sure that he kicks them out. Oyetola also positioned his own people then, permanent secretaries. He inaugurated 30 before he left. And according to the constitution, he must have looked at it. Governor Ademola Adeleke cannot get them out unless there are cases of corruption. And right now, it seems um, they've already built this up and this will go to the court. The lawmakers are already saying, Mr. Governor Ademola, you cannot change the state emblem. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. Do not think that you can just take action. Anyhow, there are rules and regulation, and that is what um, they are kind of pushing on each other right now. I don't know. Maybe they will end up uh, end up bowing to the executive order, or they are going to push this all through. I hope that Ademola Adeleke will not spend four years going to the court rather than doing the needful for the state. He has to be very careful. He has to be patient. I understand how he feels. He wants to get some people off. And this is very personal to him. Very personal to him. His elder brother died as a governor. Uh, we, we, we cannot say, and we are not saying that he died because he was governor. He just died on that seat as governor. What killed him, we don't know. It could be a health issue. So we cannot say, oh, they killed him in that state. They did this and that. He died. He passed away. On that seat. So it's something that is personal to Ademola Adeleke. Very personal to him. So um, people are suggesting that he should take it easy, as it seems he's taking this in a way that is too harsh. Is it not going to go against Olu of Iwo, who is a staunch supporter of APC? Although Olu of Iwo can change, you know, support if need be. His own is where is the juice coming from? On your affair, it is going to be hard for Ademola Deleke to take him off. In fact, people will raise voice and he, 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 he will not be able to do this easily. So guys, what are your thoughts? Don't forget to subscribe. Tap on the notification icon bell. Very important.